friends. Today we have a very fun project. We are going to learn about Panama mole art. I'm sure you've never heard of that before. But in a part of the world called the Panama Canal, there are artists who have been making art for hundreds of years using different fabrics. And the art is bright, there's patterns, and it's just fantastic. I'll be showing you a map of where we're going today and then examples of this type of artwork before we get started on our project. But I know you're gonna enjoy this, so have fun. So we are going to visit the Panama today. Now, where is that? Well, here's the United States. So we live way up here. South America's down here. It's right in Central America, right in here, specifically right there. Let me show you a close-up of the Panama. So right in here is where we're talking about. Now the artwork that we're going to be looking at, here is a Panama artist. Um, the artwork that we're gonna be looking at today is called mole art. And it's actually typically done with fabric. So believe it or not, this piece right here was all sewn together. It's all woven and sewn. Uh, we are not going to weave and sew today, but we're going to use markers today. I wanna show you a few more examples of this type of artwork <clears throat> before we get started. What I would like you to notice about this artwork is the patterns. How many times do shapes repeat themselves? We've got repeated triangles, repeated rectangles, and then we have really cool, interesting patterns within, um, this looks like a jaguar. Uh, there's just patterns all over, like this little animal right here. I can't, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, there's patterns all within its body. Let's look at another one. I like this one because it is more abstract. It's not a picture of anything. It's more just a design. Um, but it also works too. And again, do you notice all the repeated patterns throughout this piece? That is something that these artists really um, have perfected. Now, mole art, it's a traditional type of art making that is passed down from generation to generation. So the Central American artists have been doing this type of art making for hundreds of years. I love this turtle. Notice these big, bold outlines. We're gonna be doing some of that today, which I really love. Let's see if there's one more that we could look at. Actually, I think that's all of them. Yep, oh, that's all of them. All right, let's get started. Okay, what I would like you to do um, to get started, well, first off, let's make sure we have all of our materials. So I have a piece of paper, a pencil, and today I am just using markers. That's all I'm using. If you don't have markers, that's okay. Grab colored pencils or crayons, um, watercolors, what, whatever you have will work. I'm using markers today. So the first thing we're gonna do is I want you to decide what you are going to draw. So I kind of like this turtle thing. So I think I'm gonna draw a turtle. Mine will look a little bit different. But some ideas of what you could draw, um, maybe you want to draw the head of a cat, something like this. That could work. Maybe you want to draw a plant, like a flower. Just think of something that's not too complicated, that's not too uh, complex that you could put right in the center of your paper. Um, maybe you wanna draw a bird. These are all just, hmm, this is a really funny looking bird. I don't know what kind of bird this is. This is a Miss Florence bird. Maybe, I know for me, I'm going to draw a simple turtle that looks like this. Maybe you could do a self portrait that might be kind of fun. Here's my turtle. Ah. Um, and then I'll probably add some 
shell, you know, shell pieces to it like that. So right now, get a piece of paper and just start drawing some ideas of what your main subject is going to be. Now, if you don't want it to look like anything, if you want it to be more like this, this piece of artwork, then go ahead and try to figure out what kind of design you want to have. Maybe you could have a something that kind of go well now this looks like the sun so I guess that looks like something <laughs> but hey that's another really great idea of something you could draw um but you can also yeah like just have like a beautiful design so this paper right here is just for brainstorming ideas I like to do that sometimes before I go dive into a final piece of artwork but <clears throat> It is time for the final piece of artwork, so I'm going to be done with my sketching process, and I'm going to draw my turtle. Okay, pretty simple design, but that's okay for now, because I'm going to be adding a lot more. So I have my main thing, so whether you're doing a turtle or a cat or a flower, whatever you're doing, draw that first. Then, still with the pencil, we're going to add some cool designs. Because, like this mole art, you will notice that even the main subject matter outside of it, there are tons of cool designs. So what I recommend is to draw some bigger shapes that look interesting that we could put designs into. So I'm just drawing, I'm not having like too much rhyme or reason to it. I also have my pencil, so if I don't like the way any of this looks, I can erase but I'm just kind of fitting in these big, I don't know, these big triangle shapes just look kind of interesting to me. But you can draw whatever kind of shapes that you want to. This is just a way to break up the space and to create more patterns, which is the big thing that we are learning from mole art is that they really love pattern. Now you might notice that I'm not getting too fussy about it being perfectly symmetrical on either side. I actually think it looks really cool to have it be a little bit disjointed. So I'm totally happy with that. Something else that I noticed that these artists do is they do these big, bold outlines. Like, let's go back to this turtle. I love these bold outlines around each of their figures. Even these little smaller guys have these big, bold outlines. So I'm going to draw um, with my pencil. I'm going to create where I want the outlines to go, and then I'll go back in and color them. I'm also, in my big shapes I created, I'm going to add some patterns to them. So you'll see how this looks. Um, in a little bit. So I recommend just watching for now. And then once you see how I'm outlining and drawing the patterns, maybe that can give you some inspiration of how you want to do it for your drawing. <clears throat> okay, when you have your drawing um, finished using your pencil where you add your patterns into your big shapes and outline everything, then you are ready to color. Now here's my recommendation with coloring. Sometimes when we use big, bold, bright colors and we only use big, bold, bright colors, it kind of makes the um, drawing hard to look at because our eye is just like, ah! color 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 so I recommend trying to use some bold colors and some soft colors so I'm going I'm going to start my turtle by using complementary colors I'm going to be using um, uh, red and green and then I think I'm gonna add some yellow as an accent because that's kind of a softer color um, however if you have more colors than I do, please feel free to use more interesting colors, more nuanced colors. Um, there really is no rule around this. I just want you to um, have fun coloring. So um, when you're finished with your sketch and your drawing, 
Really, the next step is to go in and color. So let's do that. Okay, here is my final drawing. So you'll notice I added a little more um, detail. I added some more dots to it. And then I also, um, you will also notice that there, the mole artwork um, typically doesn't have much white. They, ne they didn't really, they don't really leave anything white. Um, it's probably because they're using different colored fabrics and so they'd have to use a white fabric in order to leave it white. So I didn't leave any white on mine. If you want to leave some white on yours, that's totally fine. But I wanted to be in the spirit of the, um, the mole art. So there you have it. Well, I hope you had fun today creating your own Panama mole art. Please post whatever you've created in my Google Classroom so that I can see all, your, all of your beautiful artwork and comment. Um, I hope that you had fun today and this, you don't need to stop at just one. Maybe next time do a different type of animal or maybe just do an abstract design. Um, these are never ending. You can do um, as many as your heart's delight and I would love to see all of them. So don't forget to post. Have a wonderful day.